the communities themselves, are they generally um, opposed or supportive of the, the practices? Are there economic benefits that come to the communities? It sounded, from the way you described it, like there were promises of economic benefits that have never really been delivered and the communities are just getting the externalities. Um, are there situations where there are still communities supporting this or is it more of a division or are they generally in opposition? Well, that's a good question. Uh, there are benefits uh, uh, of mountaintop removal and other forms of coal mining and, and uh, they've been important to West Virginia and, and other coal field states and, and communities, so there's no doubt about that. Uh, but uh, it, it's interesting that the, many of the same folks who benefit uh, from mountaintop removal by way of uh, jobs or um, tax revenues also uh, suffer the adverse consequences of that mine. Uh, one of the problems in central Appalachia is there aren't very many jobs. Uh, Kentucky, West Virginia especially have, uh, have relied on, on coal for a century to provide jobs in, in certain regions of those states. Uh, and there's been no attempt to diversify the economy. So uh, at a t time uh, of economic downturn, which we've seen in the last five, six years, uh, uh, jobs are hard to come by, and any threat to the jobs that exist, the mining jobs that exist, are, are, are uh, seen as uh, really an extraordinary threat to families. Um, and so uh, it, 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 people are placed in a difficult situation. Uh, the coal industry uh, argues that coal puts the lights on and, and uh, provides a huge amount of jobs and tax revenues and uh, tax revenues are significant, the jobs are not uh, as significant. Uh, in 1980, there were 80,000 coal miners in West Virginia. Today, there are 20,000, largely because of mechanization, mountaintop removal, and, and uh, modern long wall underground mining uh, technology has drastically reduced the jobs. Uh, but they are jobs, and they, uh, and people rely on them, and if they don't have those jobs, there's really nothing else. The convenience stores, uh, you know, low wages. Uh, so it's, a, it's quite a catch-22, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, externalities of mountaintop removal uh, can be internalized if the law is enforced. And there's been a, a reluctance of regulatory agencies uh, and political leadership in central Appalachia uh, to require uh, compliance with those regulations that could enormously reduce the adverse impacts of mining.